What's up guys? So today, Little Yachty released the deluxe version of Little Boat 3, and I believe he named it Little Boat 3.5. Uh, he added eight new tracks. He's got Little Baby on there. He's got uh, Playboy Cardi on there. Uh, he's got Future on there, but Future was also in the original Little Boat 3. And I'm happy that he came back with a uh, Playboy Cardi Future, but today we're gonna go ahead and do a sales prediction on that, a sales projection on that. And um, yeah. I'm actually a big, a big little Yachty fan. Like I know he gets a lot of hate. I don't understand the hate. Like I think he's actually talented. Like the the shit he comes up with, the shit he says is like really, really cool to me. And I think he's got a unique sound in in like the trap Atlanta like genre. Like he's got a unique a unique voice in my opinion. Um, I don't know when the hate started because when he first came out, when Minnesota and all that came out and the original Little Boat came out. He actually, a lot of people were talking positively about him, but ever since then, it just seems, it seems like sometimes in rap, the hate train starts and then people just like pile on and they pile on and they pile on. Unfortunately, we do live in a society of copycats and if it's, and if it's popular to hate on someone, a lot of people will jump on that bandwagon of hatred. And if it's popular to love someone, uh, you know, vice versa, people will start loving that person. I'm not like that. I, uh, I have my opinions and I have my, um, you know, how I feel about somebody. And if one of my friends says, this person sucks, what are you doing listening to it? I'm like, well, that's your opinion. I think it's, I think it's fire. You're not going to change my mind. I don't know if that's just, uh, the Aries in me. They say, I've been reading a little bit more about astrology or, uh, whatever. And I'm not big into it. Don't get me wrong. Cause one of my best relationships ever was with a girl that they say I should have been polar opposites with, but um, I did read that like Aries people, they, they don't like other people's opinions. They don't want to hear other people's opinions and we're very strong willed and strong minded and we feel the way we feel. And that is what it is. So maybe it has something to do with that. I don't really think so though. I've even as a, as far back as a child, I always was like that. Like all the other kids would like to go to the beach and I'm like, I don't want to go to the beach. Like I have old home videos of me like bitching, like, why am I here? Like, but my mom would always make me go. Um, and it always sucked. <laughs> so whatever i digress um but i liked little yachty a lot and i liked little boat three i actually liked it better than little boat two to be 100 percent honest I, I thought it was good there was some filler tracks and little yachty uh for those who don't know has a bunch of songs out with uh juice world my favorite artist um that uh leaked i would say at least that i've heard or seen like 10 tracks they had together they, they were working on an album for those who don't know and uh, unfortunately, the album never released, and I don't think it's ever going to release. Um, but it should. A, a lot of the tracks are fire, and obviously, Juice World killed it as always. But Little Yachty, you got to give him credit where credit's due. He would he uh, he killed a lot of those tracks as well. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to listening to Little Boat 3.5. I, I haven't heard it yet, but first week sales, he only added eight new tracks to it. So I don't think the sales are going to go up tremendously. He had his lowest first week with Little Boat 3. It did about 30K, but it also came out when all that Black Lives Matter stuff was happening. So there was a lot going on and, you know, the pandemic was raging and it's still raging and a, a, a lot of things are still affected. But um, <clears throat> I, I don't know how much the eight tracks are going to help. Honestly, I don't even think it's going to make a dent in the top 50 to be 100% real with you. I'm kind of surprised that they put it out this late. I kind of feel like he should have just focused on a whole new album. But I could see it maybe doing uh, 10,000 in the first week, which I mean, I'm sure last week it probably only did maybe like a thousand copies, probably wasn't even the top 200. So it will re-enter the top 200, um, I think, but I don't think it's going to hit the top 50. The top 50 is usually about 15,000. I think it'll be outside of the top 50. Um, so it's going to be hard to track exactly how much the sales increased, but I do think it's going to maybe do about uh, 8 to 10K. Um, based off of these eight new tracks. And he's got a lot of big features, like I said. I mean, Little Baby's fire. He's all over the place right now. Future and that Playboy Cardi song, I'm really looking forward to hearing that. So we'll see. Uh, we'll check back. But I think about eight to 10,000 copies is what it's going to go up to. I don't know what it was at last week, but it was probably not even in the top 200 would be my uh, my guess. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Little Yachty, Little Boat 3.5, eight to 10 in the first week first week um go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button i got a lot more content coming uh please give me a like and also let me know in the comments what you think it's going to sell in the first week and uh thank you guys so much so much for watching have a blessed weekend